A massive experiment was just published in which Facebook and Instagram turned off the algorithmic timeline and replaced it with a chronological timeline for three months for thousands of users. And here's what happened. The results are fascinating and actually pretty unexpected. The chronological feed increased the amount of political content people saw. However, that political content was more likely to come from moderate sources as opposed to politically like-minded sources. On the more negative side, the chronological feed increased people people's exposure to untrustworthy sources. But on the more positive side, the chronological feed decreased the amount of content people saw that was uncivil. And the biggest effect is the chronological feed made people spend way less time on social media and engage way less with the content. And the three-month shift to the chronological feed basically had no impact on people's political opinions. Now, Facebook has recently been trying to essentially spin this result into the perspective that Facebook's algorithms don't cause polarization, but the results are a lot more nuanced than that. The algorithm does substantially change your social media experience. It shows you much less moderate content. It shows you more uncivil content. And that might not increase polarization during a three-month window, but it might have consequences for polarization in society in the long term. Now, a similar experiment was conducted by Twitter, finding that Twitter's algorithms amplify the political right more than the political left across countries for reasons we don't fully understand, and this was even before Elon Musk's version of Twitter. And a final study found that people actually liked tweets that were amplified by the Twitter algorithm better. But this was not the case with political tweets. People liked algorithmically selected political tweets worse. And in all cases, it seemed like the algorithm amplified emotional content and content that was negative about our political outgroups. But there's still so little known about how social media algorithms work because social media companies don't really share much data with us about it. I'm a psychology researcher. Follow for more.